don't show me love. That's rude. what's been going on i'll give you guys a little bit of an update so something really bad happened to damien like um two days ago and um i'll show you the state <laughs> of like the apartment and how like how he is and stuff i hate driving in vancouver like driving downtown vancouver because the roads are so narrow and like people here are, like they're like terrible drivers hey i am so sorry to my vancouver people but like holy shit it's so bad like I don't get why people here suck at driving this car is a Camaro so the front is like very very long it takes a lot of space to um, turn and park and all that stuff and then the fact that like you know the uh, streets here are so narrow it really does not help I'm gonna try and drive easily so that you don't fall I've always wanted to get a dash cam I feel like I feel like a dash cam would be very very handy here in Vancouver because I mean the kind of shit that you see here is insane so it's always good to have like evidence I mean like we've already gotten into shit with stuff um, on the road here like driving and cyclists and oh my god it's it's kind of a nightmare Wow I can't believe how long it's been since when we were living in um, Mississauga like obviously this is the car that I would drive all the time so I was used to it but then now when we go to Mississauga the car that we drive there is really funny it, it is like an SUV but the steering wheel is so soft it like feels like you're driving a toy and since I haven't like whenever we're in Vancouver Damien is the one who drives basically all the time so I feel like I haven't driven this in so long which is hilarious because now I feel like steering wheel is so hard but it's not hard it's fine it's literally just because I'm like used to that toy in Mississauga. But anyway, yeah, so I am going back because I need the other key. That this fob gives a lot of trouble. So I'm gonna go back and get the other one. Okay, I'm right back. Take two. So you will be coming along with me to the grocery and I might show you guys what um, we get, you know, because uh, I do get some questions about like what we eat as vegans and stuff. So, I will probably just do like a mini haul because it's not like a super big grocery it's just like we're in like dire need of the stuff you run out of all the time I'm probably gonna get into a little bit about what happened and then I'll obviously show you the state that Damien is in at home it's been crazy so crazy not what we expected to happen and we had like so much planned over the next few days because we're going to Toronto in like 10 days so we actually had like a bunch of stuff we wanted to do in Vancouver before we left and now we can't even do it because his back is like oh like he's done like he's so done and it was all from um, deadlifting at the gym so he wasn't even doing his max weight and he was on his, his last exercise Okay, so long story short, he was at the gym, he was deadlifting, wasn't even doing his max weights, and um, just like destroyed his back. So I had to like, go, I wasn't even working out with him, I had to go meet him, and he somehow made his way out through the gym, and like no one was around except for this girl who was working at the gym behind the front counter, like the, you know, the check-in counter. And she saw him literally taking 10 minutes just to walk in front of the desk and didn't even ask if he wanted help. And he had to like snail his way across to the elevator to get downstairs. Didn't even help. I mean, this is like a gym. I'm so pissed. I'm actually gonna write a very strongly worded letter to this um, gym because I'm so pissed. But anyway, 
he made his way out and I ended up like bolting it from home and made it to the front uh, on the road at the front of the gym because he was able to make his way out. I met him and we were able to maybe walk like maybe two streets, not far at all. I had to like help him. I had to li like try and lift all of his weight off of him and it was really bad and then eventually he couldn't take the pain and he was like yelling out in pain and I got so worried. I was so scared. I was like, okay, I'm gonna call the ambulance. Like, I don't care what you say, we're gonna have to wait here. We wait on the side of the road for an hour for the ambulance to come. I had to call him like three times. He couldn't move, like he was like in agony and I was so afraid. Eventually they came and they took us to the hospital and then they like checked him up, didn't say anything, gave him like fentanyl, Advil, Tylenol, everything. And then sent him home without even saying anything so we had to take a cab home once again like they didn't even bring a wheelchair for him it was so bizarre i don't understand it was so weird anyway well he's like on a bunch of meds and stuff so he's at home he can't walk i have to like take him to the bathroom to do everything it's insane this kid had an apple in his hand and like threw it and it like rolled under the car while i was driving so i had to stop and his dad had to like wait me down it was so dumb anyway um like all i saw was like the kids stooped down in front of the car like literally i'm like driving so slow through this parking lot and then the kid on the side just like runs and jumps on stoops in front of the car what the heck it was so scary yes don't you love it when you're trying to vlog and people are just around watching you so yeah, we, he was like, he couldn't walk anymore. He was kind of like yelling out in pain and I just didn't know what else to do. And it was just a little me. I'm literally half his weight. I knew that if the roles were switched, he was going to pick me up and take me home. But I, I felt, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't do that. And I didn't know how to help him. He's like yelling out in pain. And you know what's really shitty too? We, we were walking through downtown. Like we live downtown. So this gym is downtown as well. People saw me, my me my little self trying to like hold him and carry him and i was struggling obviously i was like doing the best that i could and he was like grimacing and he was like you know in a lot of pain clearly he was in a lot of pain no one stopped to ask if he was okay or if i needed help and i looked like i was struggling the entire time and then when we stopped on the side of the road because he couldn't walk anymore and we were waiting for the ambulance for like an hour so many people walked by and they looked at us like looked at us with like you know like concern and nobody stopped to ask if we were okay if we needed help if like anything nothing nobody asked nobody did anything and i was so pissed that obviously in that moment all i could think about was like okay what are you going to do to like to to get out of this issue to fix it to like what's your next step and stuff but when we finally got home from the hospital i was thinking about it and, and i was like i ended up asking him i was like so no one in the gym like helped you or anything and he told me how he actually walked by people working in the gym so slowly limping holding his back like in so much pain and nobody working there or anybody attending the gym asked him if he was okay and he had to like walk his entire way to the elevator walk down some steps actually because this this freaking gym is on shit but I don't know so pissed about it so he finally gave me the details and I'm I I'm just like so upset about it like I said and I'm going to totally write them because I mean this is not like a grocery or like a mall or a store it's literally a gym you are supposed to be trained to know how to handle people who injured themselves working out because it's very common you can't just look at somebody limping by and not help them he can't do anything he's been like my shoulders and biceps are like so sore as if I've been working them out like alone at the gym because I'm like lifting him I pick him up and then help him over to the washroom and then put him to sit on the toilet and like into the shower and I mean it's hard but it's like it's so scary because I've never had to deal with something like this before you know if something happened to me I know Damien like has it under control because he could like pick me up or like do whatever but for me I guess it was just a little bit scary well I know I'm a very small person and I hope that you know I'm helping as as much as he actually needs me to and stuff but I know if he wanted like extra help he would tell like his his mom and stuff to come over but he said that he is quite fine and um we're managing and stuff so that's really nice so yeah that's why i'm at the grocery alone today i have some work to do afterward i have to take some instagram pictures for garden of life so i'm gonna do that and try to post edit that and post that today and when we get home i'll just show you the state that damien is in and <laughs> you'll see for yourself so i guess i'll see you there i'm 
sitting on a cardigan because I'm small. <laughs> Every time I drive this car. I mean, well, I think it's just this car because it's like so low down to the ground and then like I swear the seats are like down and like back. But yeah, just because like the front is so long, so I like to be higher than the uh, seat can go. That was such a big grocery, which means I'm going to have to make more than one run up to the apartment, back to the car, to the apartment again. <sighs> oh my god. And he's like, maybe I can come help. <laughs> Are you crazy? I'm going to have to walk to... I'm in Whole Foods right now. So when I drop all of these groceries off, I gotta go to another grocery that's like a 10 minute walk from where we live. Down the street to get bread. <laughs> Cause I love the bread from there, from like that bakery. It's called Choices. I think it's like, um, it's a BC grocery. It's not like all throughout Canada or anything. Probably put up food first. So he's not starving and I'm not starving. Try to do that Instagram work and then walk to Choices Grocery. And then I think I'm gonna be in for the rest of the day, probably do some editing. Wish me luck, I'm about to drive in the streets of Vancouver downtown. Back home from the grocery. So I'm just gonna show you the situation like I promised. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Do you have to say anything? Hey guys, what's up? So, as you know, I've been pretty much out of it for the last few days because oh, I messed up my lower back. I pretty much slipped a disc in my spine uh, from deadlifts. So I have been bedridden pretty much. I, well, more like couch ridden because, you know, I've kind of been sleeping on the couch because it's a little bit easier to get onto than the bed you know at first we were sleeping on the floor because when you get back problems you gotta sleep on the floor to make sure you're gonna be like supported and stuff so yeah we tried that but after trying to get up from the floor oh man that, that was terrible i couldn't get up at all i was trying to get up and it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Actually, when it happened, I thought, oh, maybe I'll be able to walk home. Maybe I could, you know, I've, I've injured my back before. So maybe I could walk home. I could like figure my shit out. Like I can get myself home, maybe, you know? So I tried walking home and that was the biggest mistake of my life. <sighs> I, I've never felt pain like that before, you know, honestly, that was crazy. That was really crazy. I actually had to stop. Camille actually came to meet me and she, was helping me walk but I had to stop I just couldn't take it anymore she actually had to call the ambulance and the ambulance came after an hour of standing on the side of the street the ambulance came and they picked me up took me to the hospital pumped me full of meds and yeah sent me on my way so I've pretty much just been sitting here for the last three days anyway so i've been here sitting doing nothing all day every day pretty much sending me kind of mad but I am excited to get things started again. I know Camille's really excited about this channel. I'm really excited to get into it too. So I'm really working on talking to the camera and seeing how comfortable I can get, you know. Oh, I could be me. I've just been sitting here, like, just trying to rest my back. It's like a intense feeling. Like, you feel kind of like your muscles on fire almost. Like a real intense burning. Yeah, when it happened, it was like shooting pain. Somebody stabbing me on the inside of my back. Yeah, I just can't stand for long. This is actually a pretty good day right now. You, how you're seeing me now, like I'm, you know, sitting down here. Like I'm actually up and about. I'm able to walk around and thing like on my own. Because before, little Camille was taking me from where we're sleeping to the bathroom and back. And, you know, she's like... Helping me into the shower and like be pretty much bathing me and thing, you know, it was it was real hard but now you know I kinda on my own again. So yeah, I'm gonna try to prank Camille. She's actually out with a friend right now. She went to have dinner at Heirloom, I think it was. It's a pretty dope vegan place out here in Vancouver. Oh, I'm just gonna hide somewhere. She's definitely not gonna expect it from me because you know I'm so incapacitated right now. She ain't gonna expect anything at all, especially me hiding anywhere. Probably not gonna get any baby in again after this, you know, because she's been taking care of me a lot because of how much pain I've been in. But 
a hopefully we get something that's fun you know she actually hates being surprised and hates pranks and stuff so i know she's gonna be pretty pissed at me but hey it should be jokes i gotta figure out the best place to hide this way i can get all this so i just gotta take off all the lights you know see see if i can just maybe hide under the couch not really sure how i gonna fit on the couch but because there's not very much space i don't know I mean, if, if y'all think I could fit under there. I mean, I'm, I'm not small like Camille, so. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see. She should be here any second. I think she just like, she's probably like parking right now. So I'm gonna have to try to, you know, fit myself in there with my broken back and wait for her. Anyway, wish me luck. Oh no, he saw me. I saw your toes. No. You still scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you look at him like one of those children. Uh, Why are you doing this and your back is broken? <laughs> look at you sweating. I was here so long. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, wow, babe. Were you scared? I was a little bit concerned when I came in and I didn't like hear you. Have you seen my toes? Oh no. Yeah, like your toes, your foot was like, I saw this. Oh no. <laughs> I came here and I was like, oh, but you must be hiding. I saw the closet door open. I'm like, are you trying to hide in the closet? And then I was like, oh, okay, well, you're not here. So maybe you're trying to hide like under my desk. And as I'm like walking here, I see this. <laughs> no. I see this thing right there. Prank field. Oh, <laughs> you were filming this? <laughs> I tried, guys. With his broken back. Yeah. And he's literally and drenched, drenched in sweat. sweat. Like, I have a full on sweat mustache. And you know what I saw? I saw this much of his foot, like his toes. <laughs> Sticking out from under the cushion. <laughs> I didn't know that much was showing. You're so cute. You're doing things to hurt your back though. All right. That's why you're drenched in sweat? Looks like you've been in pain. No, I was just really hot. I had to take off the AC so that you guys could hear me. So did you have fun? Like, I'm almost certain I locked the car, but the, um, the uh, OCD in me wants to go back downstairs. I need to head OCD. home. Oh, I burned myself. Look, it's actually gonna like leave a mark. Wait, focus, focus. Right here. <laughs> and so my, so my prank failed. Cause I saw his foot. <laughs> I'm walking oh. into the apartment and I'm like. He's gonna jump out from a dark corner, and I hate, I hate being See, I, startled. I told you all, I told you all that. I hate it. And I was like, okay, he's obviously hiding somewhere, but he's not gonna jump out from somewhere because he knows better than that. And I should have like walked, and I saw his toes, so I already found him. And then he still goes ah, so <laughs> I'm still like startled, even though I know he's right behind cushions. So I guess I still kind of like got her. I was angry for all of like 0.5 seconds, but it was cute because your toesies were sticking out. 
He's so cute. Anyway, I think we're going to close it off for the night. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and our rants, <laughs> yeah. which I am still so upset about. And I still have to write that strongly worded letter to the gym. Anyway, we'll see y'all in the next video.